Just imagine you could run your large language models anywhere on any device. This is what this MLC LLM engine hopes to do. They say that it's a universal LLM deployment engine with ML compilation which you can run on any device including cloud servers whether they are running NVIDIA's GPUs or AMD GPUs or you could run them on commodity hardware GPUs like NVIDIA 3090, 4090, AMD 7900 or even Apple M3 Max. It would also run on CPU plus you can run your large language models on edge devices like sensors, cameras, also on your mobile phones, your tablets, your Steam Deck and on your gaming devices. Plus you can run them on tiny devices like Orange Pi and also Nvidia Jetson or in all in all if you look at this diagram at the very top layer you have the models like Llama 353 and then we have our universal LLM deployment engine which is a high performance engine or solution for LLMs to enable native deployment of any large language model with native APIs with compiler acceleration. Also with a device option not only you can pick your own specific GPU backend you can run it on multiple GPUs and doesn't matter which uh, provider you are using AMD, Vulkan and Steam Deck whatever as I mentioned earlier the same core LLM runtime engine powers all the backends enabling the same model to be deployed across backends as long as they fit within the memory and computing budget of the corresponding hardware backend. They also leverage machine learning compilation to build backend specialization optimization to get the performance best on the targeted backend where possible. And they also reuse key insights and optimizations across backends they support. Another cool thing is that you can run it on various APIs and I will shortly show you. For example, uh, before that, let me quickly show you the architecture. So on the very left hand side, you get your original model like Llama 3, 5 or whatever. And then some model conversions are done according to MLC. And then those weights are deployed onto your destination devices. And as I mentioned earlier, it could be anything from platform native runtimes to your server runtimes. Also, another thing which I really liked about them is that they are using open AI's uh, standard format. So what they did it, they just rebuilt this MLC engine from ground up with same core mechanism to target a diverse range of devices in the entire spectrum. So whether it is CUDA, whether it is Vulkan, whether it is Web GPU, ROCM, OpenCL or whatever GPU it would run. So they adopted a standard open AI style in interface so that developers can quickly make use of it through the REST API, Python, JavaScript that effectively is the same as OpenAI's official page and package. Also, they built OpenAI style APIs in Swift, which is for Apple iPhones and also Kotlin, which is for Android phones and all backed by the same engine. The engine comes with out of the box, highly efficient JSON mode and schema support through the same API so that you could also generate structured output from the LLMs. And this engine, MLC, it stabilizes and powers all the backends which you can readily use. Now, if you look at this example, for uh, for instance, this is just a chat interface uh, with your CLI. So we are running it and it is simply using this Llama 3.8 billion instruct which has been quantized with MLC. And it is present in Hugging Face ML PC AI repo. If you look at this example again, you can use the curl command with HTTP POST method or if you look at it, you could use it with any RESTful API. Similarly, you can use it in your Python code uh, on the left hand side. So all you need to do is to just import that MLC LLM, give it a response and it is going to give you back the response from that LLM. Now the good thing is that you can use this code on any device which supports python whether it is your phone whether it is tablet your server whether in the on-prem or cloud so anywhere on any device then you can use it on your apple phone with the ios sdk as you see here and they are using the swift sdk and as there is no official swift api from openai so they 
just model it according to open is one and there are a lot of code examples on their website which i will drop the link in videos description plus you can use the android sdk so which is sort of kotlin api model after the open api and in this example where you see they are just running the 4-bit quantized 53 model on samsung s23 using the chat completion and then for the uh, browser in browser running you can use this web llm sdk which uh, works by translating the web gpu shading language that is um, basically a shader to the native gpu shaders it is quite uh, it utilizes a gpu acceleration native in the browser quite convenient and it would run on any browser which supports that web gpu then it is 100 percent client-side computation and you can of course use it in javascript and then this is where you can get a lot of um, versions for your operating system if you want to build it locally so all in all quite flexible um, but one thing i would tell you that very very early stages i have tried using it in few on the linux on the phone and i have to be upfront here there are a lot of bugs so because it uh, it is still evolving still early days i have tried it on ubuntu i have tried it on windows sometime it works sometime it just simply refuses there are some uh, i have I mean because i have nvidia gpu so i have tried it out with nvidia gpu cards with mainly around ampere ones um, and 1490 and on those it simply complains about the cuda versions but i have seen it running very well on a couple of amd ones uh, but personally i have uh, still at this point to, in today's date when i'm publishing this video there are a lot of bugs in it if you go to their github repo you will see that people are complaining a lot there are hundreds of open issues and you have to tinker a lot um, i wish i would have saved my foray into that but i haven't but otherwise i could show you that how um, difficult it is but let me show you the installation examples for ubuntu and you can try it out so if you're looking to install it on your nvidia gpu with ubuntu first create a conda environment activate it and then whatever cuda version you are using like 12.5 i am using so but that doesn't work with it so i have to go with this cuda latest one 12.2 or something um but still very very buggy here you have to tinker with this cuda version or amd version a lot i wish they would make it universal in true sense that you would run one command and it will automatically detect your cuda version your gpu type and your platform and then it will accordingly install it so it's a big big issue at the moment and in my humble opinion as long as that issue remains this is not workable then you can install these stuff get lfs for the larger file system and then gcc if it doesn't exist already then this is a command to check the version and from there you can import the engine and then you can just talk with llama 38 billion after initializing it this is a command at line number 20 that even if the above gets installed correctly on nvidia gpu in ubuntu this line doesn't work no matter what you do i have spent like three hours fixing it doesn't work so i'm not going to bore you with that and then once uh, if you're lucky enough this works then you can run this so all in all a very good project and this is why i decided to show you that i'm more than sure they are going to fix it because this is the need of the time that we need something which is universally uh, run and then we should be able so once it is resolved then hopefully this will be very very handy to run that's it guys let me know what you think if you are already running it and you have managed to get past all of these bugs please share your learning in the comments as we are all learning together if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching